Welcome back everybody to Hockey Bar. This is January 30th. It is episode 52, I believe. Uh, so thanks again for joining us today. It is Wednesday, currently, I believe. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of thrown off right now. It's been very cold outside if, uh, for those of you that live in the north, uh, mid region of the U.S. You probably know it too. Um, so to get started, I want to talk about uh, Predators forward Austin Watson, who the Predators released a statement on yesterday that he is now going to be entering stage two of his uh, substance abuse program that the NHL has set up for players that are unfortunately caught up in a mess with that. So the Predators have said that there's no further comment uh, from here. So this is stage two of his uh, program. I couldn't think of it because it's not something you see often, you know. Uh, so originally, I guess over the off season, uh, he was charged with domestic abuse. I think it was against his wife. Uh, so that's something you never want to see uh, in the world, regardless if they're a hockey player or anybody else in the world. It's not acceptable. So uh, he's now passed all his uh, legal stuff and is now entering the substance abuse for alcohol, which was his big thing. So hopefully he gets that solved and returns to the NHL after he's proven himself uh, soon. And then on a lighter side of news, uh, the Minnesota Wild have re-signed Alex Stalock, their backup goalie, uh, to Devin Dubnik. His extension is going to be a three-year deal, and it's worth uh, $2.3 million USD. So now that he's got that secured, Dubnik secured, I think, for four years now. So the Wild are good on goaltenders, I believe. Uh, so they, they're they pretty good now. Uh, they're set up. I think they can go far in the playoffs soon. Not not yet. Uh, they still got Koivu injured right now, so that's a problem. Uh, Dumba's injured as well. Uh, he's out for the rest of the season, unfortunately. So the Wild do have a lot to like and a lot to worry about. So it's kind of a toss-up. I think they can do well in the playoffs. So uh, they, got, they didn't do very well getting placed against the Jets. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jets uh, last last season, uh, but they might they might have it this year. Um, they might be able to get farther than the first round. Uh, they've had some trouble after that. Uh, I don't think they've ever won uh, two rounds in a row in a playoff in franchise history. So maybe things can change. Uh, the West is kind of contested. So hopefully they end up doing better. Uh, I kind of like to see them do well because I think they're one of the better expansion teams out there. And now moving on is our game to watch. Uh, that'll be between the Lightning and the Penguins, and this is the Wednesday Night Hockey game of the day. So it's going to be an exciting one. It's, uh, it's in PPG Paints Arena down in Pittsburgh. So to get started, obviously, as we all know, the Lightning are, if not the, well, they, they are the best team in the NHL currently. I uh, can't be beat yet. Um, they got, they're far ahead. Like, I think they got, a disparity of maybe 12 or 14 points between them and the Maple Leafs. So it's a bit of a struggle. And the Penguins are up there in the higher than Eastern Conference. They're near the top. Uh, if not leading the Metropolitan, they're up there. I think they're behind the Islanders and maybe the Capitals. Capitals have been on kind of a slump. Uh, Penguins are consistent, at least. Um, so they really want to figure out what's going wrong with the Penguins. So uh, now that Alexiak is gone, uh, their defense is going to be a little scrambled. Probably now this is going to be their first game, so they're probably going to scramble the lines a little bit. Uh, Malkin hasn't been performing good. He's the lowest plus minus on the team. Um, and then, obviously, Crosby is up there. Uh, Getzel's up there in points. Kessel. All three of those guys are pretty much their main scoring unit. So they need to probably push that more because the Lightning are just going to go offense, 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 just because they got the ability to score. And the Penguins, they do too, but not as fast. So it's going to be a quick game. Um, it'll really be up to who gets the better offense uh, starting out. So you can't start slow against either of these teams. So probably going to be a result of how fast a team can generate just off the start. So now going on, moving on to our last part. The stats update still hasn't changed uh, these past few days. So Kucherov still leading in points. He has 78 and assists. He has 56. So very hefty numbers, and he could get more tonight. Uh, the Penguins are a team that 
They have a good defense. Uh, I do, this is controversial, but I believe their goaltending is kind of lackluster compared to what it used to be. I'm not going to say that Flurry carried that team, because he didn't. Uh, but he was a huge asset for him, and you see that with Vegas now, as we're going to get to in a minute, how big that was. Murray's a good goaltender. D. Smith is pretty good, but they're not premier goaltenders. They're not those goaltenders that stop everything, make a highlight every day, and pretend like everything's fine. Okay, They're very real, and they're not premier, and they're not great. They got good stats. They can get things done when they need to, but they're not at a caliber as some of the other teams in the league. So moving on past that, uh, the goaltender, <laughs> not goaltender, my apologies, uh, goals leader is still Ovechkin. He's got 37, and he can get more. And then Giordano, along with a lot of flames, leading plus minus. He's leading with a plus 29 currently. And moving on to goalies, we have Robin Leonard of the Islanders, still doing good. Islanders haven't played... Uh, Returning from break, I think their first game is either tomorrow or Thursday, or uh, Friday, I mean, my bad. So, he can probably keep it up. I mean, he's had a rest now, so if anything, uh, he might come back even stronger from the break. And then, obviously, as we were just talking about, Mark andre Fleury still leading in wins and shutouts. 27 wins, 6 shutouts. He's really been carrying Vegas. Um, and even then, uh, Malcolm Subin isn't the worst backup in the league, definitely, by any standard. He's very good. He gets the job done. So even when Fleury isn't playing, the Golden Knights always stand a chance. So that's really all i got to say for today. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. Uh, if, you, if you're new to this, uh, do make sure you subscribe. And if you like the format, please tell us. Uh, we were trying something new recently, and it means a lot if we can hear your feedback. So if you're new, please do subscribe to not miss any updates in the world of hockey, as we do this every day. It's a daily thing. We really like doing it. So thank you guys for watching again, and we hope to see you in a future episode. Take care.